Alright, this time we're on uh, XFCE again, and the annoying thing when I use this is that uh, they don't have a native uh, program to edit menus. So whenever you want to edit a menu, m most of the people will tell you to use a uh, you know a text editor and then edit out the .dot uh, desktop files, which is uh, a waste of freaking time. So I'm going to use this program. It's called LXMed. Uh, just go to their site and install it. But it's short for LXD main menu editor, and this one is written in Java, but I, I don't know. They, they said this is for LXD, so there you go. So install this, and this is how it looks like. Very basic. It's kind of like the no main menu, right? And oh yeah, here's another thing. If you're using Kumfer, I'm not sure what the reason is, but Kumfer doesn't detect this uh, launcher here, the settings men uh, manager and the settings editor so for example we're going to use that to make a launcher here okay uh... they do have it in here it's just that it's not visible when you're using Kumfer, uh... to do this so i already made this one i'm going to make this one right now so if you go to properties here you can see some of the settings they have if you want to edit the, the desktop files it looks something like this that's usually how you would do it manually but in here they have a GUI for us, so uh, all you gotta do is you know give it a name, a command, and a comment, and an icon. So what we're gonna do is use this. Um, let's bust out a text editor here and put this down here. So we're gonna copy this one. Uh, we're gonna make this for Kunfer because Kunfer doesn't detect these ones that's uh, pre-made by XFCE. So we're just going to copy the same thing and make a new launcher for it. Um, and I believe it's the same situation with GNOME do. So if you're using that on here, it's the same deal, alright? Anyway, so we're going to cancel all this. And when you want to make a launcher, uh, we're going to put it in the uh, what is that, system tools, alright? I already made one for the other one right here, but let's say we make a new uh, launcher. And we're going to use the same stuff here that we copied earlier. Or if you want to make your own custom one, you can do that. But uh, I actually need this one right now. <laughs> so let's paste that. Paste this. And we're done. Now, we don't have the OK button right here. Uh, let's give it an extra character and then delete that. And then you have the OK button here. So you hit OK. And we created uh, one right here. Uh, when you do this, though, when you just create it, um, you want to save it? No. Okay. So when you just created it, it doesn't show up in your. Um, oh, maybe it does right here. There you go. Right, it, it shows up right there. And if you use Kunfer, let's uh, restart Kunfer here if it works. There you go. So if I go settings, uh, I should have the settings manager. There you go. And now you have both of them. So that's how you will create a shortcut if you want to do it. Uh, if you want to do like uh, a custom one of yourself, then just fill out you know the commands that you want. Um, maybe like uh, Chromium with uh, incognito mode or something like that. Then you can do it from here. Pretty simple. It's kind of like uh, you know the no main menu. And uh, really, you know, XFCE really needs a, a menu editor of their own. And I, I don't think they. Uh, or maybe they're starting to make one right now not sure but anyways very useful if you're on XFCE and you need a menu editor that's it for this one